Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf at the gorgeous Royal Quebec Golf Club for Golf WRX and Wisdom in Golf. And today we are performing the transition of the golf swing from the backswing to the downswing. And for many of you, understanding that big turn, so you're thinking, wow, that's a massive turn that Matt Wolf has, that left knee's behind the ball and the butt's toward the target. You know, and if you look at uh, George Gankus talks about that uh, right back pocket all the way to his butt crack. <laughs> That's a fun way to put it, isn't it? So you're turning the posterior towards the target exactly the same way as a baseball pitcher would pivot and gather his pitch in order to deliver his pitch through that plate into the catcher's glove. So the reason why that's so important, it's the only way back for a proper human weight shift, okay? So the weight shift happens from behind, not from firing off the right side. If you gather onto the right side and you try to fire off the right side, you're going to throw yourself out of balance and out of sync and also way out in front of the ball. So in order for you to stay behind the ball and deliver in the direction you want to start the ball, and that's one of the things that Matt Wolf does extremely well. You watch his head through impact, like Rory, like um, Xander Schauffele, like uh, um, Fleetwood, Tommy Fleetwood. You'll notice that their head positions are behind the ball through impact. So from here, I have access to releasing to my target. From here, I'm releasing into the ball, into the ground. That's your classic over the top, okay? So I have an intermediate point here in front of the ball that I'm gonna use to deliver, which is right edge of this divot. And when I'm staying with that shot, the head stays back, even though the hips are clearing, and that's what allows me to stay with that shot. The only way the head's gonna stay back is if everything is unwinding around that lead leg. So you'll notice at the, at the beginning of the downswing, you see the lead leg using the ground to clear. So as that lead leg is using the ground to clear, it's holding the head back. The head's got something to sit on to prevent you from going forward. So, gather, Shift, clear. There is the sequence of events that are leading you out toward that target. So let's watch, watch this in my, in my swing now. So gather and clear. Let's have a look at that again. I don't wanna, my voice carries a bit, so I gotta make sure my voice doesn't carry into the next fairway where those uh, lovely members are playing. So let's try that again. So I'm throwing out towards my target. Throw it out there. So you'll notice that on 99% of my swings, my head is staying behind the hit. Okay, and that's what allows me to deliver a lot more towards my target. So if we look at a human walk, if I'm walking towards you, you'll notice my center of gravity stays inside my feet, okay? I don't walk on top of my legs. I'm walking between the legs. If I'm walking and cutting grass, it's the same thing. I'm just cutting my rows of grass here as I'm walking towards the ball. And you see how coming through the shot was very easy to do once I got that left foot down. So the left foot plants and then everything revolves around that lead leg. And that's how I'm able to get everything out towards the target. So if I do a stationary walk, plant swing, plant swing, plant swing, plant swing. So I'm in my follow through, I plant, I let it go into the backswing. 
I want to go back to the finish. I plant, I go out into the finish. So there's a, a sequence. And when we talk about the timing of the swing, it's plant way before you start down. If you're starting down while on that back foot, then you're going to throw yourself completely off balance. How do you do that? Well, you need a task that's going to get you through the ball. So when Matt's over the ball, he's thinking about the flight of his ball moving into that target. So I'm going to think about that nice draw going from the right of my building back to the building. And I'm going to deliver a nice throw. And there it is. Man, I can't hit it any better than that. So I was now zeroed in on the target and it's the target that put everything together for me. If I'm throwing the club towards, your, towards the camera right here, okay? So I'm gonna toss this club in your direction. My brain now has to go get the ground, use the ground to get the body out of the way so I have access to throwing that club towards you. Notice how the club was coming your way? How did it do that? How did my brain know? Well, the brain said, throw it towards the camera. So I can't do it from here. Brain's gotta go get the ground. It's gonna use the ground to get your body out of the way so you have access in the direction that you wanna start the shot. So without the target, and without an action toward the target, all this is going to fall apart. You can't think your way through a golf swing. It's, it cannot be done properly. You can think your way through one or two parts, but that's it. But there are way more, way, there's way more going on than that. So, you finish the turn. So you have access to the lead leg. If you feel like, hey, I don't, how am I going to get back to the ball from here? It's not about getting back to the ball. It's about how well you're gonna to throw to the target. And if I wanna throw the club out there towards the target, notice now, as I plant, I've got way more rotational momentum to carry me out toward that picture and into that target. So, number one, you saw the video we did on initiating the swing. I'm already in my follow through. I'm heading into my backswing and I've got some already existing momentum to carry me into the backswing. It carries me into the backswing, I get some nice width and the body's getting out of the way. As it's getting levitated up, my brain's got time to go get the ground and throw everything out towards the target. So in the next video, we're going to fine tune, I'm gonna give you a list of some nice videos on tasks that are going to engage your brain and body and get it locked in on a nice task that is going to take you through the ball, not at the ball, through the ball and into that picture. Okay? Enjoy that. See you next time.